Hello, and welcome back to our motion tutorial series. In the previous lesson, you learned about Motion's project management philosophy. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to actually make project workflow template and how to use them. All right, let's get started. Let's go back and open Motion, and here on the sidebar, let's click on All Projects. This is my main dashboard and the place where I can quickly see all my projects in a Gantt chart, aka a timeline. As you can see, I have a few projects running, 15 in fact, and they're all in various stages of completion. All these projects right now are using a client project workflow template. So first, let's get to the point and show you how to actually create a project workflow template. Creating a new workflow template is actually very easy. You can just create here a project and you can create a new workflow template by clicking on this button. We can choose a workspace like client engagements and we choose if we want to create a new template based on an existing template or from Motion's library. We're gonna create one from scratch today. So I'm gonna click the create from scratch button. In here, we present it with an SOP creation dashboard. We're gonna create a new template called landing page for clients. This is gonna guide us through creating a new landing page for all clients since we do that process a lot. Give it a template name. I'm gonna give it a color so all projects are created in blue, which is my favorite color. By default, I'm gonna assign this project to myself. No labels, no priority. And if I want, I can give it a description. This is useful if you want someone to follow a very specific set of steps when they're creating a new project. Next, we're gonna set up the stages for this project. I'm gonna have a design stage, a development stage, and a publish. The design stage is gonna take one week. Development stage usually takes two weeks. And publishing takes about three days. So I'm gonna change this to three days. These are just hints, you can always change durations later. As you can see, this setting to auto advanced stage automatically when all tasks are done, automatically turned off. You can also add stages in between by hovering over the middle of the stages and clicking the plus button. Now let's break this down into tasks. Let's say I have three tasks. The first one is going to be to draft a headline. The second one is gonna be writing copy. And the third one is going to be testimonials. Adding tasks is very simple and very easy, and I can always drag them in the order I want. If I want to make sure that the tasks go in order, I can always block them on each other and this will tell Motion to do them in the order of the blocking chain. I can also edit all the task fields in here. And if I want, I can edit the task description as well. All right, I've gone ahead and created all the tasks in the next two stages. For development, we have to set up a dev environment, create a demo, get client approval, and then write the code. And once we're done with all of those, we can then publish the website for preview, get payment, and then finally enable the website. You can see that this is a very simple template. In real life, these templates can have hundreds of tasks and that's okay, Motion manages them all for you. Now let's talk about assigning the tasks. Right now you can see that all these tasks are assigned to me, but I'm not gonna do them all every time. I don't have the expertise. So that's what roles are for. We're gonna add a copywriter, we're gonna add a designer, we're gonna add an engineer, and we're gonna add an account exec. Now I can go and assign these tasks to the right roles, and I will get to define these roles when I create the project. So let me go ahead and do that. I've now set up all my assignees. You can see that on the design phase, all the writing tasks are assigned to the copywriter and the design landing page is assigned to the designer. The development stage, the engineer is setting up the development environment, the account executive is setting up the demo and getting approval, and then the engineer is writing the code. And in the last stage, we have the engineer publishing the website, the account executive getting payment, and then the engineer enabling the website. As you can see, all these durations are set up to 30 minutes. That's wrong, so let me fix that. Drafting a headline should take about an hour. Writing the copy is probably a four hour task. Writing testimonials, take another four hours. Designing the landing page might be an eight hour task. You can also decide if you wanna break this up into chunks. So for example, design landing page, I'm gonna break this task with the designer into two hour chunks. All right, now that I set up all the correct durations for all my tasks, I'm gonna set up one text variable. I'm gonna call this text variable client name, and then I'm gonna append it to all tasks. That way, whenever I look at these tasks in my calendar, they have the client name on them. This is useful if you have hundreds of projects running. So that way, you know, when you have to draft a headline, who the website is gonna be. With that, I'm gonna save this template. You can see that the project definition has been created and I can close that up using project workflow template. Now let's go back to the old projects view and create a brand new project. This time we will create it by just clicking and dragging here on the timeline view. So this project is gonna start Monday, October 7th and it's gonna run all the way through October 31st. As you can see, as soon as I let go of the mouse, I get the option to either use the client project template or the landing page for client template. I'm gonna pick this one that we just created. Now let's give it a name, website for Henry. If you remember, Hendrix is my cute dog. And if you agree, he definitely needs a website. I'm gonna click continue. And you can see here that Motion automatically set up the stage deadlines for me. The first one is five business days. You remember it was a week. Second one is 10 business days because remember we said four weeks. And the third one is four business days. We had said three days, but because I set up October 31st as the project deadline, Motion automatically expanded the last stage. You can always change the dates by clicking here. Or if you wanna change the overall project dates, you can do it from here. Now let's assign roles. I will be the copywriter. 
Aisha is gonna be the designer, Benjamin is gonna be the engineer, and Carlos is gonna be the accountant. I'm gonna click continue, and the last thing I wanna do is set up the client name, which in this case is Hendrix. As you can see, I just click save, and boom, the project is created. And even more importantly, the first four tasks are created, assigned, and auto scheduled. Not just for me, but for my whole team. For example, these three copywriting tasks are assigned to me. The design task is assigned to Aisha. The development tasks are assigned to Benjamin. And the account executive tasks are assigned to Carlos. And as you can see, Motion is scheduling the whole project out in advance to tell me when it's gonna be done. These first three tasks, red, because I don't have time to finish them by deadline. And because I'm late, design is blocked on me, then the design task is also late for Aisha. Okay, now let's go back to all projects. And as you can see, this report shows me the execution state of all projects going on in my company. Because this is a motion view, you can pivot it by any field. Let's see how that works. I'm gonna click on my group by control. Remember I told you, this is your best friend. And I can group this by any field, like client, for example. And I can see my projects are now grouped by client. I can group them by status. So I can see all my in-progress projects and all my to-do projects. As you can see, my to-dos are in the future and my in-progress are right now. Or I can group them by stage. And this shows me which stage each project is in. I can sort the groups, for example, content creation can be at the top because those are the projects I care about the most. Also, I have two different ways of viewing data. As you can see, right now, each project takes up its own row. But I can click here and consolidate. And if I move a project, for example, this one, all the way down here, Motion will automatically move all the stage and all the deadlines and all the tasks with it. It puts them right next to each other. One more thing I want to show you is how each project has these little dots. What does each dot represent? Each dot represents a stage. And so if I hover over any of these stages, it tells me what the progress of the stage is and what the dates are and the colors pop up. So I can glance, see very easily what the state of my project is. I can see that this project, for example, is ahead of schedule because this line is ahead of the today line. This project is in a weird state because some of the tasks in the first stage did not get completed, but the second stage started anyway. So I know I have to clean that one. As I showed you before, clicking on a project opens up the quick project overview screen. So I can find out what's happening with this project and I know that Jessica has not yet coordinated the initial content strategy. So I can come here and message Jessica to ask her what's going on with this task. <laughs> Lastly, in order to make planning even more productive, let me show you how this view integrates deeply with the calendar. I'm gonna switch this view to be grouped by assignee. This way I can see who is doing each project. And now I'm going to click on the calendar button right here and click on show out of office events when grouped by assignee. As you can see, my row now shows right on the calendar when I have planned time off with this out of office event. Let me show you where that comes from. So let's go back to calendar and look at the week of October 30th. As you can see, I have a vacation planned that week on my public work calendar. And that vacation is blocking my calendar from doing tasks. It's also blocking other people from scheduling time on my calendar. That same information is visible right on the Gantt chart. That way, we make planning even easier. And if you have a company holiday calendar, you can click on the calendar control again, expand your main calendar account, and if the calendar is public, you will see it here. You can check it on and all these holidays are gonna show up on the calendar itself. So you know that on Monday, October 14th, people might not be working that day. Okay, now let me show you the real magic of these templates, how Motion automatically moves projects to the next stage. Let's open up the project that we just created. I'm gonna do that by clicking the search button here, searching for Hendrix. I can see the website for Hendrix right here. And I'm gonna move this project to start this week. As you can see, Motion automatically adjusts all the dates for me. Okay, now the project is moved, I'm gonna open it up. You can see that all the dates changed and now everything's red because the project is due very, very soon. So I know all my team is over. But. So let's take a look at how Motion helps you move the project along. Let's assume that I actually drafted all this content. So I'm gonna complete all my tasks. Now let's assume Aisha also completed her task. As you can see, Motion automatically moved the project to the development stage. It also made all these tasks real and it puts them on people's calendars right away. As soon as the project is moved to the next stage, Motion fires a notification to the project manager, letting them know that the project has advanced. And it also lets everyone with a task assigned to them know that the stage has begun so they can start working on their task. And that's how project templates in Motion help you and your team execute faster and more efficiently. By codifying your standard operating procedures into Motion, automating task assignments, and eliminating communication lags, Motion keeps your team on track and ensures you're always moving forward. And if any project is at risk, Motion will tell you in advance so you don't get any surprises down the line. With auto scheduling and project workflow templates, Motion is the most advanced project and time management tool ever created. Motion helps you focus in doing rather than managing your work. And I really hope that with these features, Motion can save you tons of busy work and help you focus on doing the meaningful work that you and your team really want to do. That's it for me today. Thank you for watching and happy scheduling. Bye-bye.